Welcome to the channel. I'm Seth. Today we're going to be watching Dark Season 2, Episode 6, An Endless Cycle. Which, see, <laughs> beginning and end, end and beginning, the war, the beginning, that's, that's the show. Alright, thoughts on the last one are back there. Things that jump out to me is uh, Ulrich running with Mikkel trying to get to the cave. Didn't work. Claudia's trying to get her dad to move in with her to maybe change his fate from dying in the apartment. The kids traveled back in time and saw uh, Ulrich. I don't know if they realized it, but Ulrich saw them. Adam has sent Jonas somewhere. And what else? Something. Oh yeah, Noah and... So many names. I just woke up. Okay, give me a break. Noah and Charlotte. Uh, yeah, no idea what to expect from the show, usually. Uh, because they could go to any of multiple timelines, any of multiple characters in those timelines. So I promise I'll be awake soon. The caffeine will help. Yeah, let's just get into this. This is Dark Season 2, Episode 6, An Endless Cycle. Here we go. Ah. This show is great. Oh no! 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 I'm not running the footage backwards, are they? No! Before that, yeah. Yeah, what causal things? Ugh, oh, it might be a bad day to watch. The intro's, intro's hitting me. You know, it did this once in season one, the very first episode announced. Pre-traveled Jonas? Productions are filmed out of order, so for these characters that play themselves in multiple times, in different beats, in different mannerisms, like, it's very well performed. And and the fact that uh, there's different actors playing the same characters, like, is so well done. Ich vergesse es. Katharina und Ulrich machen heute ihre Party. Komm nicht wieder zu spät zurück, okay? Ja. Um, he would have crossed paths with his parents, Katharina and Ulrich. Also, ich muss los. Does Michael Mickle... Does he still believe? Yeah, he left the letter. <clears throat> it's just like, where is the beginning? Because I'm trying to remember why the kids initially found the cave. Was it to get the drugs because Obendorf was missing and he was the connection, but then Obendorf was missing because Noah was doing shit because Noah was... Because, be, 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 it, Jonas, Mikkel, it... This is going to be an interesting episode if we're... I should have watched the first episode again, maybe, before watching this, but I, I didn't know, getting into it, what it would be. The music in the show, too. There's like three or four themes that they do, and I just love all of them. There's this one, and then the Noah, evil sound. And then there's a, like a, a lighter one, like when Ulrich and Mikkel saw each other. What? Like when Ulrich and Mikkel saw each other again? It's him with his wife, what do you know? <laughs> what a strange thing to see. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me get my red wings. Look like a joker. Dengue. What? <laughs> How the fuck would you have Dengue? Maybe I have Marburg. That's not... Rubella? I'm not familiar... Rubella, that's one of those things in that vaccine. The mumps... Uh oh. Okay. The search is still going for him. Like, my brother caught scarlet fever when we were a kid, and it's like, how is that real? <laughs> oh, yeah, they were still. Yeah, things were. See, the silent treatment only works on somebody. Or. <laughs> if I didn't fuck up, it ain't gonna work on me. You just keep being stubborn. That's the most stubborn shit I think I've ever said. If he would have said, yeah, they're great, and then the next day, his dad hangs himself. 
Oh, some context for that. They just found it in the sand. Oh, no. Oh, no. And this show looks pretty old means somebody dropped it here in the 20s or the 50s. Oh, the travelers. No! Sigmundos Creatus Est. It's, I didn't see it was that, Jonas. Oh, he's right. He's back in his time today. Oh, my goodness. A couple. Ugh. Yeah, Dad. <laughs> hey, we do it sometimes, you know. What the fuck? No, she's got to be like dead man floating, right? I say she. Hey, she's because the booty is floating. I'm reading the subtitles, not looking at the titties. It's the internet. You can get titties everywhere. Grandma Ein's a tablet. <laughs> he can't pretend to be like old chipper him. Maybe. Oh, fuck. He's. Uh, I was hoping he'd walk away because traveler him was always good at stepping back and observing and then leaving. This version of him ain't there yet. Yeah, this is a different creature right here. <laughs> they said that in bed, or he... Never think of it. Yeah, is this the first time he's introducing this idea to her? And then she sleeps with younger him? Like, did she feel this way because of this? Has this always happened, you know? No, the camera's moving. What are we revealing? I mean, it could just be to encapsulate them, but... <sighs> Looking at himself. God damn. Yeah, this is the day before he kills himself. Has this, does this have anything to do with... You kind of remind me of my husband a little bit. Uh, let me get out this photo. What the f Yeah, but why does Hannah have hard nipples and Katarina doesn't? Is it a bra choice? Is it the weather? Is it a state of excitement or arousal? These are the things I need to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what's your... <laughs> Boo. Is he going to remember looking at himself behind the door? She's like, I like the way your nose is stuck up Noah's ass. Oh no, if he's, he's nervous about the paper, the investigator isn't here yet because the kids haven't disappeared. So he's just nervous about shits stirring up. Yeah, that's the other cop at the station, right? That he talked to. We got a good half a visa. Ooh. Oh, we're in Santa Junipero territory right now. Black Mirror episode. It's like a family reunion at this party, but there's only like five people here, and they're all just different time traveler versions. Is this the beginning of the Ulrich Hanna affair? Or is it already... Mmm... So, like, are you gonna beat up your old self and then you go to the party? Because you can't have two Jonases at the party. I mean, the Traveler's probably there. Adam is probably there. You know, why not have three or four Jonases there, you know? Kind of like how Back to the Future, there were three versions of the DeLorean there at the same time. The one that Marty used in the first one, the one in the second one while they were trying to get the book. And the same car was in the cave buried away so that Back to the Future 3 could happen. So... <laughs> It's 
covered in blood. <laughs> Everything. Todos. I wouldn't remember a throwaway line from one time driving around when I was a kid. So is this gonna be what breaks uh, Michael? Oh yeah, the beginning. Is this... And then this happens, and then... Rick roll. Let's do it. The great Houdini, yeah. <laughs> the disappearing boy. Because I got sent back and then forward and then back and forward. Oh. Oh shit. What if what if he Yeah, what if he's introduced this idea to him though? He's like, "Oh, wow. I didn't think of that." Ooh. Determinism versus free will, you know? Yeah. What someone thinks, what they desire, and their temperament, that's how you get what they'll do. You'll only do what the conditions that you have allow you to do. Oh. Breaking away from the party for a little side action, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Older him. <laughs> About the fucking tablet. See, that's the difference uh, between passion and lust, I think. Lust is, like, ferocious and quick, but passion... Passion is the slow burn. Noah. No. Hey, when they're fucking with the drugs. Oh yeah, because they were like, has anyone seen, has anyone seen, uh, Mickles? Like, I thought he was with you. Older, yo. Stop it. Oh, yeah, it's like going back in time to change something ends up being the thing that starts it. He'll hang himself so that his son can still exist and still live. Small price to pay. His future self told him stuff that his dad told him here. That it <laughs> Fucking Claudia. Ugh. The bird is outside screaming, but I can't get up till this episode ends. I don't know if I'd be on metal equipment out in the storm, you know. That's just me. I'm guessing this isn't the start of the affair, but it's kind of already going on, because they've been shooting the looks at each other. Is that just the apocalypse? <laughs> Maybe kind of, sort of, uh... Oh yeah, is this a callback to their conversation at the booth? At the bus stop? They're like, something's wrong with this town, or... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> oh, uh-oh, oh, oh. Or is this the beginning of it? I can't tell. Mm. Yeah, so this episode is called The Beginning, and it's like these relationships kicking off and... Oh, I just realized she saw her own father go into that trailer. It just clicked with me. We'll conclude this at another time. She's like, oh, that's all, all I've ever wanted. 
Oh no. Oh no. Did we see where and when that picture got torn? Cuz we I I've seen it a few times with the tear and then a few times Wenn du das liest, ist alles bereits unwiederbringlich geschehen. God damn it. Es kann nicht mehr geändert werden. Writing the letter that you know he's already read. Wir machen eine Lüge zu unserer Wahrheit, um zu überleben. Mir geht. Du hättest es ihm sagen können. Du hättest ihm sagen können, was seine Aufgabe in all dem ist. Who are you and what are we talking about? Wir alle müssen Opfer bringen. Magnus! What? No! Yo, that does look like him! In the eyes! Holy shit! That wasn't a grown-up Marta then. What? <laughs> no. All right, that was episode six, an endless cycle. Oh man, I uh, let's see what the description says because I don't I don't even know where to begin with this nightmare. <laughs> Armed with a plan to prevent the apocalypse, Jonas travels to 2019 during the Nielsen's anniversary party. Ulrich sneaks off with Hanna. Okay, so I don't know if this is their beginning or not, but. Uh, I mean, it's, it's an endless cycle, either way, right? Jonas at the lake influencing Marta, which influences Marta to younger Jonas. Future Jonas talking to his dad, Claudia shows up. It's a, there's just so much. I still don't understand. The travelers are talking about a world without time, a world without God being in charge. What happens between 1921 and the 2050 whatever year, like, the universe just isn't contained in that block of time. Like, it's gotta end, it's gotta resolve, it's gotta either do or undo. I just don't know how they're gonna do that. I mean, we're only halfway through the second season, and there is the third season, so... Yeah, like, every family was featured in here. The kids, uh, the adults, Katarina's family, Charlotte's family, you know, Hannah and all them. I'm going down the matriarchal list. We had we had a little bit of Boris, uh, or sorry, Alexander uh, time. Did we see any Cloud? Oh yeah, we did see Claudia. We didn't see much of Bartage's family though, right? We didn't see Regina. At least I don't remember seeing Regina, older Regina. There's a lot going on here. As always, when I go through and edit, I'll see more. I'll understand more. I'll be able to see what I spoke over, and that'll uh, that'll enlighten me. But we're not there yet. But this does it for me for now. This episode was quite, quite a... <laughs> this wound things up a little tighter, so... Is it all escapable? Is it, can it be changed, you know? Is it a knot? If you loosen one end of the knot, does another come tighter, you know? I don't know. This has been a lot of fun. I look forward to more, but it'll have to be another day. So thanks again. Hope to see you soon. And goodbye.